Every single one of us has seen something so devastating that it has broken us. Maybe it's something quiet. A mother kissing her kids goodnight in the back of her old station wagon. Or something even more shocking, a man literally starving to death on the street. And when we see things like this, most of us feel it deeply. But we manage to pull ourselves back together and go on with our lives. But thank God there are people on this planet like Narayanan Krishnan, who cannot. He comes from a life of privilege, but he shuns the cultural belief of some in India that says that men and women who are destitute, homeless, struggling, or suffering from mental illness are untouchables, unworthy of compassion. But he sees them as equal. That is why he cooks for them, feeds them, cares for them, and offers them the simple dignity of a bath. The sight of the hungry, the sick, and the homeless broke his heart to pieces. But he took those pieces and built a life for himself, helping people in need as their friend. I saw a very old man. He was eating his own human waste for hunger. I thought, what is the purpose of my life? What am I going to do? In a star hotel, I feed all my guests. But where in my hometown, there are people who are living even without food. I, I quit my job and I started feeding all these people from 2002. Today morning we made uh, Venpungal and Sambar. Venpungal is a blend of uh, rice and dal and for the lunch we made uh, tomato rice and sabji. We fed the homeless, mentally destitute and the old people who have been left uncared of the society. People are suffering for food. They don't have food to eat. If you don't give them food to eat, they will die out of human hunger. I cut their hair, I give them a shave, I give them bath. For them to feel psychologically that they are also human beings. There are people to care for them. Yeah, they have a hand to hold, hope to live. Food is one part, love is another part. So the food will give them physical nutrition. The love and affection which you show will give them mental nutrition. Brahmins are not supposed to touch these people, clean these people, hug these people, feed these people. Everybody has got 5.5 liters of blood. I am just a human being. For me, everybody are same. What is the ultimate purpose of life? Is to give. Start giving. See the joy of giving. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to present CNN hero Narayanan Krishnan. Thank you so much, CNN, for this global recognition. I want to thank my father for his support. This is the right path I have taken. The people I feed are my friends and bring my inner joy. No joy could ever could. Clarity and focus are needed to know our destination. I know mine. I will continue to go to the streets again 
and feed these people because they need us. Thank you one and all. Came back to Madurai, which, which happened almost about 10 years before. We were all going towards uh, Madurai Meenakshi Amman Temple. I saw a very old man having his own human waste for hunger. I was literally shocked. I have never seen that situation before in a television or read in a newspaper. I stopped my car, went to the hotel, brought sumptuous idlis and gave it to that old man. Within few seconds, that old man ate those idlis and gave me a look of gratitude. His eyes was full of tears. It was a silent revolution of self-realization which made me to think, what am I doing? In a star hotel, I feed all my guests. I have been paid in euros and dollars. Wherein in my hometown, there are people even without a small piece of bread to eat. I went back to uh, my hotel in Bangalore. I quit my job. I was not able to concentrate. I came back to Madurai. With very little amount of savings I had, I slowly started feeding. The mentally ill people and old people left uncared on roadsides of uh, Madurai city. And all my friends went back to Europe and, con -line and called uh, the landline of my house. Uh, though nowadays we have Apple phones, Blackberries. Those, don't, those days only landline. My father used to take the call and uh, they said, Krishnan did not come, he got frightened, he has quit his job. And my parents were worried about what I was doing with these people. So they had two options. One, they went to their uh, friends and relatives to find out the solution. There were two uh, suggestions given to them. One, take me to a psychiatrist, put me under medication for some time. Or take me to Kerala Chotani Karai because someone in the family would have done some black magic. Frankly speaking, my father, my father did both. He also took me to Chotani Karai, also an appointment with the psychiatrist. But luckily, the psychiatrist understood what really my inner feelings was and the puja did not work out well, so I started doing the work. So, with whatever I had, I started feeding these people. Slowly, from 2000 through, people started uh, supporting our cause in Madurai and we registered a trust called Akshaya. Uh, all and got all uh, statutory compliances done. In 2005, I witnessed a lot of mentally ill people on the roads having long, long hairs and there is nobody to uh, cut their hair and w whatever food I give goes only to, your hair, to their hair. My hair does not grow. Their hair grows well. So, I wanted to find out a solution for that. So, I went to a local barber and approached. Some people said that they don't want to come and do it. Their hairs are sinking. Some barber said that uh, they will come and do it. Barbers were all assembled uh, near uh, Periyar bus stand, uh, Madurai, where we wanted to give haircuts for the people. What happened? The mentally ill people started seeing barbers as strangers, started running on the east side, the barbers were going on the west side. It was a running and catching game going on roads of Madurai. So, to solve that situation, I went to a barber shop, took six months intensive haircutting training and so far 3000 to 4000 haircuts. I have given to people on the roads. Suddenly what happened, everybody from the community came to my house and said, being a Brahmin, you are not supposed to do it and we will totally uh, remove you from the community and you are not supposed to attend any spiritual activities. I said, what is the problem? They said, the, sa the sacred thread for a Brahmin, what you are wearing is a problem, you are not supposed to do it. I happily removed that, put it in the fire and for the last eight years, I am a human being. In 2008, uh, I witnessed a lot of mentally ill women on the roads are being uh, taken for a ride by anti-social elements of the society. They give birth to kids on the roads. So, to solve that situation, with the help of few corporate companies, we purchased almost about 3.2 acres of land in outskirts of uh, Madurai. And in 2008, I was being selected as uh, the real hero by CNN, IBM, Reliance Industries. And uh, with the help of that corporate company support, we were able to have a small infrastructure for about uh, 1500 square feet. We just started building it. And after when CNN was on air in 2010, uh, all over the world, uh, people started supporting our cause for three reasons. One organization run by the youth. And second one is excellent quality of food has been served to the destitutes who cannot claim for. And third one is 100% maintenance of accounts. In our organization, we operate on less than 1% administration cost. Out of 100 countries, 10,000 nomination, 
Akshaya was been selected in top 24, top 10 and top 2 of the world. Only one Indian to get the Hollywood award representing everybody in this country. And in the award, the citation was been written. A. R. Raghuman was been awarded for uh, Slum Dog Millionaire. I was been awarded for Slum God Millionaire. We have now successfully constructed 56,000 square feet campus, a very, very big campus in a 3.2 acre land in Madurai Choda Vandan. We are planning to inaugurate the home in May 9th. In other three months, from now, if you see anybody on roads of Madurai city, please call me, we will take care. Everybody will be housed. I also have a dream project, there are almost about tons and tons of uh, food is getting wasted in all the hotels and marriages, marriages hall in Madurai. So I have one uh, piece of ancestors property that is only remaining, everything sold out and fed to these people and, and uh, on that uh, particular land. Uh, I, have a, I have a dream to construct a, a big kitchen and have all cold storage facility so that no hotel including tea, tea shop if there is two tea getting wasted and including a marriage hall if a big uh, party thrown to people if it is getting wasted we, we are going to uh, have our own van and collect all the food and feed, and feed entire Madurai city in another one year. There are hundreds and hundreds and thousands of Narayan and Krishna in this world. Please find out, encourage them and we will make India a very, very better place to live in. I once again thank all the speakers, all the participants and everybody in, involved in this uh, TEDx Coimbatore team and I also thank my collector, Madurai collector for uh, making his presence here, very busy person. Thank you so much. Jai Hind. Stopping, I can't talk. <laughs> That's wonderful. Food for thought, food for soul, everything. It's just unbelievable. And uh, we really admire you. And as you said, the whole point of, I think he was very hesitant to come here to take off even a day. He was hesitating so much to come out of his work. And I insisted, and I'm really glad that I did because I'm sure you're going to inspire uh, thousands of more Narayan Christians. And, uh, you know, what has been uh, the most fulfilling thing for you. I mean, I know helping people, all that is one side of it, but what have you drawn personally from all these things? They don't thank for the support they get from us. They don't? They don't thank. That is a big... Uh, that, is, that is a big... Oh, wow. That's really good. <laughs> the smile in their face and gratitude in their eyes wakes me uh, every day in the morning, 4 o'clock, until 11 o'clock. Uh, we are feeding almost about uh, 456 people, 3 meal a day. And so far, we have fed more than 2.5 million meals to this week. Thank you so much. I know uh, he's held up with the person saying his devotion is uh, it's endless. I think uh, the devotion that you've shown to your profession and what you have learned and how you put to use for the society is just amazing. Thank you for your devotion and for being here in spite of all the hurdles that you've had. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.